let's move on to the next topic then okay what is a list and what is an array list can contain any data type array has homogeneous elements yes same data type yes exactly the difference between both of these guys is uh, the kind of data type you have within it right so the difference really is going to be this can hold homogeneous items and can hold heterogeneous items right so that's the difference yeah list had diff has different data uh, types okay so which is going to be the faster array so arrays are going to be faster or lists are going to be faster array is going to be faster okay list is not going to be faster because it is holding multiple data types right so obviously list is going to be the slower one okay array is going to be fast because it has one data type and hence it's going to be the faster one doesn't really uh, this thing so in any case it's still going to be uh, arrays going to be faster yeah because it it for the entire array it's going to have only one data type right but for a heterogeneous one it has to store the value and the data type and it has to hold it even though you know different different or similar are there it's still going to hold it right so that's that's a uh, rational okay cool so let's look at one of the let's do our first package installs uh, i mean import packages so i'm going to i'm going to import an array package now so array package in python right so you can look at this particular thing and it's the first link itself it's automatically give you this uh, going to give you this particular thing right so there are different types of arrays that you can have here and they are named right so you have, you have characters unsigned characters signed characters py unicode uh, right uh, <clears throat> signed short and a lot of different data types are available here right you can quickly go here and see all of the things that are available here and some examples also will automatically be available there right so yeah so that's the arrays um things like uh, um so you want to import that particular package and then we are going to use it right but by default whenever uh, you're going to declare a list right and a list is declared by using this square bracket in um uh, in python right this is an interview question what how do you declare a list right so you use the square bracket right remember functions use uh, this uh, round bracket but lists right are going to use a square bracket and notice right automatically a string is treated as a list in this particular scenario right so if you see here um where is that example see it's automatically considering that particular uh, this particular thing as a list right so it's a it's it's a particular list which can be accessed by again square range right so you want to go have the square bracket synonymous i mean used in different places but they will mean a little bit different but again if you see it uh, that way it, it it makes sense right so by default whenever you uh, open a square bracket and pass it some values and give it to python it's automatically going to treat it as a list first right so that's going to be a list but if you want to convert it uh, i mean again uh, so as you can see here i passed numbers then i can pass number string and a number and then it's still going to be a list right so um and i can access a particular part of a list by using the square bracket so i basically take this particular list and say give a square bracket and then give it the index value and access right so if i if i do zero here it's going to give me one um and if i do two one here it's basically going to give me f right so it's zero one and two in the index right so that's there 
Now I also have, uh, you know, I can reassign a par particular part of a string and I can do it by simply saying, can you take a particular piece of uh, the, the list and replace it by a value that is orange, right? So a print x2 and then we have this orange here, right? So I have list numbers, uh, I have again another set of lists. Uh, and a list of characters, right? I can say list number dot append 11 and it's going to add uh, to the last position, right? So that's something that you can do. You can append certain values to a list and you can also insert on a certain position. Like for example, in the zero eight position, I want to insert a particular number. So I can insert a number in the zero eight position also, right? So in, in this particular portion, it's going to insert a number, right? So yeah, I mean, that's how we can look at lists and uh, this thing. We can also remove a certain character from a list and I can just use the remove, right? So as you can see, up and insert delete are fairly straightforward. You just need to know what the arguments are, right? Now, arrays versus list, as we spoke, uh, this particular time I'm going to declare an array, right? So for example, in this particular scenario, we have an array uh, and then I can use this A cross this code to declare array. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm doing a character. I want a character array. So I say a dot array and then I give the U, right? So that U would stand for uh, a type of data type within that array here, right? So U is this particular type. And then I, I give a list of strings. So which means since I'm doing it through the array, Python automatically understands that this is going to be an array, which is of the data type U, and uh, I can then basically see the values right here, right? So if I print it and I said, you know, to string and print it, it's basically going to take, tell me that, hey, this is a U array, and it basically concatenated all these strings uh, to uh, together and then printed it, right? I could just have printed it there, but I just wanted to show an example there, right? Similarly, I can have an integer array, say i, and then I give it one, two, three, four, five. Uh, the other thing that I can do is again print the array, and it's going to exactly print it like this, right? Right now, we don't see the use of it, but uh, you know, right now we are just learning about the building blocks of Python, right? And arrays and lists form a critical part of data science because those are the ones that form. Uh, you know, your rows and columns within your data set. So hence, yes, they are going to be uh, a critical part of Python. Okay.